Hey, what's going on everyone? Thank you for tuning in and checking out my latest video. Now today's video is going to be talking about the upcoming matchup between Lucas Matisse versus Emmanuel Taylor taking place in Las Vegas on the Canelo Alvarez versus Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. card. Very, very good card. I'm going to really enjoy this card. I think we're going to have lots of action. Um, some possible big knockouts. We've got David Lemieux also on this card. So we all know David Lemieux knocks people the fuck out. So this is going to be good. And I cannot wait for this card, guys. So with no further ado, let's get into the comeback of Lucas Matisse in this matchup versus Emmanuel Taylor. Now, when I look at this fight, Emmanuel Taylor to me is a guy who, very good performance he had against Adrian Broner. He kind of flies under the radar, in my opinion. He's fundamentally a pretty sound fighter. He uses a lot of a uh, variety of punches. He's a guy who has a very accurate right hand. His overhand right is also a weapon as well. He's a guy who will go to the body. Uh, defensively, he has a high guard. It does pretty well at defending um, punches upstairs. He's a guy who will slip some punches every now and again. And he's a guy who has a pretty good activity level as well, while not being um, overly aggressive causing himself to be uh, countered or things like that. So he's pretty uh, responsible fighter, in my opinion, fundamentally sound and flies under the radar. Um, when I look at Lucas Matisse, and I talk about this comeback of his fight, I always have a lot of respect for Lucas Matisse because this is a guy who just takes on dangerous fighters. Um, you look at his track record, fight with Ruslan Provodnikov. I was at that fight. Outstanding matchup. Um, you look at him taking on a guy like Victor Postal with that long reach and a, a style that's very hard to look good against. Then he fights guys like Lamont Peterson, a uh, very smart technical boxer, moves around the ring. He's a hard guy to look good against as well. Um, so he takes on dangerous fighters constantly. Um, a throwback mentality, in my opinion, for Lucas Matisse. So much respect to him. Um, and when I look at the skills that Lucas Matisse brings to the table in this fight, uh, Lucas Matisse is a guy who can box and brawl. Very underrated jab. I find when he establishes his jab, he's extremely effective. Uh, left hook, vicious, right hand. Um, Matisse is a one-punch knockout artist. Um, when you look at him as a fighter, he's a guy who has a solid chin. Good at fighting on the inside as well. Um, so Matisse has a lot of very good weapons um, that he brings to the table whenever he fights. Now, when I look at this matchup, and in my opinion, who I'm picking to win this fight, um, I think it's actually going to be a very competitive fight early. Um, however, I do think that Lucas Matisse's power and Emmanuel Taylor's lack of punching power is going to be a pretty big issue for him in this fight. I believe that Lucas Matisse, um, with that high guard that Emmanuel Taylor implements, I believe that if Matisse works the body, um, he can finish him with that uh, the combination to the body because um when you watch emmanuel taylor like i said he's solid defensively but he keeps that high guard up a lot and he'll stay there and stay in the pocket and take shots in his high guard but you can slip shots to the body on him because his elbows aren't in tight underneath um so that's something to watch out for when you look at this fight and in my opinion um lucas matisse i believe will eventually stop emmanuel taylor in this matchup Maybe in the uh, seventh or eighth round, I believe, in my opinion. Um, I think, though, it goes a few rounds because Emmanuel Taylor is pretty good. Matisse is coming back after a long layoff. Um, so I definitely think this is going to be an intriguing fight. Emmanuel Taylor is very game. So I, I'm interested to see how Lucas Matisse looks in this fight. This is not an easy fight by any stretch of the imagination. I just think we're going to get to re revitalize Lucas Matisse. Um, had some time off, refresh his body. Um, so I look for Lucas Matisse to win this fight by stoppage in the 7th or 8th round, in my opinion. Let me know what you guys think on this fight, who you guys have winning this matchup. And thanks once again, guys, for tuning in and checking out this video. Thanks.